What's up, YouTube? Fantard here with the late review of Shokugeki no Soma chapter 204. And this chapter is so fucking simple, yet so awesome in the same way. It's basically Edina following through on what she's been wanting to do for so long and her, her character just blossoming, just going. Now it just, it's finally gone to the next stage of growing and standing up to her Faja. It was awesome too the way they did this chapter. Basically the setup for this chapter, they have the meeting for them to discuss the rules and how it's going to go down. You have Asami, you got Saiba, you got Doshima, and you have what's on the line. Basically, <clears throat> if Asami loses, they're going to vote him off uh, off of the headmaster position. And, but if he wins, he ta the kids are expelled and Jochiro gets to join his henchmen. Now, oh, I think it'd be so awesome. If they went the route of Jojiro joining his group, if they were if they were to lose this match, oh man, that'd be so juicy. Because I feel like if they did defeat Asami here, I feel like that'd be kind of a quick arc. Like nah, I don't know, I feel like it'd be a lot bigger if they lost and they ended up getting suspended somehow, or maybe maybe that's just taking it too far. Maybe it's time for Asami to go in. Maybe it's time for them to become second years. And it's time for them to move on to the next stage in Shokugeki no Soma. But I think it'd be so interesting if George Hiddo were to join them. Because I kind of got cock teased when uh, Yukihira lost to the first seed. And he basically let him go instead of Yukihira joining Central. And I thought that would have been a great opportunity. And like juicy plot, good backstory, maybe a little shock value. I don't know. But I think it'd be awesome. It, it, like, it'd be kind of like interesting because... Yukihira lost and he was let go and then it'd be cool if like the author comes back and like oh not this time Jochiro actually is going to join Asami because they lose this matchup and I thought I think that'd be so interesting it'd be like it's 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 intriguing you know it it, it makes you think on what would happen if Jochiro would want to do that and it makes you wonder how would the author handle it and how would he <clears throat> anyway uh, it'd be pretty awesome to see how that would go. But anyway, uh, you have Edina, she has her little flashbacks. She, she, you have her dad asking her, oh, you're basically, you're on our team, right, Edina? Because you're part of the Elite Ten. Um, that's basically the rules. You're, you're part of Central. The Elite Ten automatically means you're in Central. She has all these flashbacks of everything that she's gone through, everything she's learned from Yukihira, from George Shuro, her past with her father, uh, her, her grandfather telling her words of wisdom. And she gets like this serious moment and she finally stands up to him and she follows through. She doesn't take back, she doesn't like creep back in. She's not like afraid. She's like, oh, no. She actually breaks through the fucking cocoon, blossoms and punches her dad right in the mouth and tells him, I quit the fucking cent uh, I quit Elite 10. I'm out. I'm now just Nakira and Nakiri Erina. That's who I am, and these are my friends and who I'm going to fight for, and it's so good to see her. It's the execution, it's the follow-through, it's the chemistry of everything that's been building up to this very moment. And it's been such good build-up. Her character has done an amazing job with her character. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. The story, the build-up, everything else, it's, it's, uh, it has weight to it. And there is some genuine concern, gen genuine concern on who's going to win here. I'm not sure who's going to win. I don't know what way the story's going to go. And it's going to be really fucking awesome to see, man. So far, I think this arc overall, I'll give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. The beginning kind of pissed me off a little when they were doing the testings and the, the evil undoing, uh, evil tactics that they were doing. Uh, whatever. Uh, I, ha I hate that part. I mean, they were trying to cheat them out of the, the school and not play, you know, fairly and try to kick him out through the cooking way. But ever since then, it's just been awesome. Twist after twist, character development after char uh, characterization, the clan coming together, everyone's coming together. Uh, fucking Saiba coming in, that was just awesome, just excellent. I don't know how this arc's gonna end, but it looks like it might be coming to a close or it could get further down if they end up losing, but maybe it could be dragged on. I don't know. You don't want to drag things on too long. Maybe it's good to put a good arc maybe to to the end with an awesome climax of this battle. But we'll see. I still there's so many things I want to know about this Asami person. Like what what we need to get into his head. What the fuck's up with him? You know why is he so uh, dead set on Jochiro and what exactly happened between them? Because I feel like what happened between with Jochiro, him leaving the school, 
I don't, I'm not so sure if that's enough for, him, for me to justify Asami wanting revenge. That's what the words were from the, from the Polar Star Garm old lady. Forget her name. Anyway, excellent chapter. 4.5 out of 5 stars. Just great execution. Just a simple chapter. And it just showed how much Eddie has grown over him. Uh, over this arc, and she's going to continue to grow, and her relationship with Soma's going to continue to grow, and I can't wait to see it. Hope you guys like the review. It's really fucking late. My reviews are going to be fucking late. Whatever. But hopefully anyone who finds this enjoys it. I'm the fan of Tart. Hope you guys have a good day. My day was okay. Whatever. Fuck okay. it.